<laughs> today, Guilford County Schools is hosting their district-wide science fair. Now, all morning long, students will have a chance to present their projects to attendees, all for a chance to advance to the regional science fair. Our Jackie Pascal is at the Greensboro Science Center getting her science on this morning <laughs> where the fair is being held. Jackie, how's it going over there? It's good. It's good. I'm glad I'm not presenting. I can just be on TV, but also be here with some of these very, very intelligent children, probably much smarter than I am. But first, though, I want to talk with the interim assistant superintendent, Tiffany, here from Guilford County Schools. So we are in the Greensboro Science Center. Can you first talk about the partnership and collaboration we have here today to make this the location for the event? Absolutely. We are so excited about the partnership that we have with the Greensboro Science Center, who co-hosts the event with Guilford County Schools. The students had the opportunity not only only to compete in the next level of the science and engineering fair, but spend the day with their family in the science center and see the amazing exhibit. So we're excited about that opportunity. And all the students who are here today, they have won their individual school levels to be competing on this district level. Why is the science fair so important to Guilford County Schools and to be competing here and kind of raising the bar for them? There are so many reasons that the science and engineering fair is important. Number one is to give students the opportunity to engage in critical thinking, problem solving in an area of interest for them, in a science area of interest. We also know that STEM professions are increasingly in, in demand in not only Guilford County, but also in the state of North Carolina. So starting students at the um, school level and uh, engaging in that problem solving and that scientific um, process is so important to pique their interest and want to um, pursue possible STEM majors. So the judging is happening right now and then the actual winners will be announced later on this evening at 630 if I'm correct. I want to talk to one of the students who was just getting interviewed moments ago. I have Tristan over here. Tristan is a fourth grader competing today. Thank you so much for being here with us. I know you just spoke to several of the judges. I hope this isn't too intimidating. Tell me more about your project on camera. But what exactly were you researching? So I'm going to be researching chickens. So I'm going to, I'm going to have four chickens. I'm going to divide them in two and I'm going to put two of them in the habitats. And I'm going to feed them two different feeds, give them water of course, and I'm going to weigh them every two days. And by the end of the um, two days, by the end of the ten days, I'm gonna, it's going to be ten days, I'm going to weigh them and I'm going to see how much they progressed. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add those two chickens together and I will see which chickens progressed more. So, if the pellets feed um, progressed more, right? Then yeah, we're going to show off some of your poster here behind you. Um, so you were presenting this to the judges earlier. Do you feel like you prepared enough today? What has it been like to present to people here at the fair? It's been fun. I really like it. Was it a, a slightly intimidating, or did you feel like I knew what I was doing out yeah, here? I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Um, and what has it been like to participate in the science fair? You obviously won for your elementary school, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, at your elementary school level. Did you get to learn about the other projects that some of your other fellow students did? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, cool, Tristan. Good luck to you. I'm wishing you all of the best. Of course, I have to be impartial, but I'm pulling for you a little bit, just for a little bit later today. Uh, again, we're live in the Greensboro Science Center. This judging is going to go on through the afternoon, and then those winners again will be announced later on this evening at 6.30. I'll toss it back to you all in the studio. That was too cool. That I'm was so awesome. glad we got to hear from Tristan.